we have a, a vintage uh, Boss DS1, the silver screw, a very early, like late 70s. Um, uh, it's when it came out, and we have a P Cornish SS3. And um, I think the Boss has some qualities that can actually compare to the SS3. So uh, playing through a Marshall JMP, through a 412 Marshall cab, and a Fender Strat. Uh, here's the clean signal. All right, let's engage the DS1. is three. To me, the boss has a little bit more lows, and uh, the P Cornish has tighter, um, tighter mids. And the lows we can actually take in or out with this control and the treble. The boss just has a tone knob, which kind of dulls it and brightens it. But I think you know the boss is doing a very, very good job against this real um, monster here of the SS3. But um, let me crank up a little bit of the distortion and see how much SS3 can't really go too high in the gain department but we'll see what we got SS3 just lacking a little bit of lows compared to the boss and um, have us all the way up. But um, I guess the boss, it goes even further into sort of G2 territory, um, which the SS3 is uh, leading up to the G2, then the G2 takes over in the game. So 
And that's uh, the comparison between the DS1 and the SS3.